Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial on Catia. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to design a hexagon nut using design data standards. Uh, the whole process will be done in part modeling workbench. So let's start with our process. First of all, I will go to start mechanical design, part design. Let's name it hex nut m8. Okay. So uh, as I have decided that I am going to create a m8 hex nut. So we first need to know about the data for the hex nut. Okay. So for example, m8 is the nominal dia. For m8, the chorus pitch is 1.25. Okay. And the fine pitch is 1 or 0.75. Uh, there are times when we get confused uh, which pitch should we use chorus or fine. Okay. But uh, uh, as you can see, the, the, uh, it is already written here. Okay. Explain here where we should use chorus pitch. Chorus pitch is uh, very commonly used. Okay. But uh, this uh, fine pitch is used for some very super fine threads as you can see or for different type of industry like in aviation manufacturing industry automotive component suspension struts etc okay so we have the pitch here m8 now i will start the modeling process okay so first i will go to sketch and select the XY plane. Okay, here I will draw a hexagon. Okay, like this. Select this line and go to constraint defined dialog and make it vertical. Okay. So, as per design standards for M8, the distance across these corners is fourteen point three eight. Okay. Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay. Now I will exit the sketch. Let's extrude it. The thickness for the nut is around 6.5 mm. Okay. Now we have to construct the threads. Okay. This is very important part. For that, we need to understand the geometry here okay in our previous video we talked about the hex uh, the allen screw allen bolt which had the external thread the lower portion now we are working on the internal threads this one which is for the nut here okay so the construction is going to be same okay i'm going to draw everything accordingly okay the main thing we have to decide here is the uh, nominal dia which is this okay so i will first select the sketch tool and in this case i will select the yz plane okay now select the line tool then select line tool here and draw a straight line here like this 
now draw another line here like this the distance between these two lines will be 4 mm which is the radius okay 8 by 2 is 4 okay now select construction and uh, now go to insert operation transformation uh, 3d geometry okay project 3d element and select this edge here okay you can select this from here also you can see this toolbar here you have project 3d element option here also okay now I will draw a line here like this okay the distance between these two lines is going to be our pitch 1.25 okay this is our major dial now we have to draw a line for this edge here okay the edge can be calculated easily with this formula okay h is equal to 0.866 into p okay so i will draw another line here like this now select dimension and uh, the distance is 0.866 into 1.25 click ok Katia will automatically calculate it we don't need a calculator here ok now since we I have drawn this H line here also from this D now the easiest way is to draw a equilateral triangle ok so select the line tool the better way is to use the offset tool here let me show you select the offset tool and offset this line here half the pitch ok 0.625 ok now select the line tool here and uh, draw a line from here to here and from this point to this point and from this point till this point ok now let's convert everything else to construction geometry as we don't need these lines here ok so this is the equilateral triangle we needed but as you can see that uh, let me zoom in there is a h by 8 here and h by 4 here we have to uh, remove this portion here also ok so let's uh, do this also so for that I will draw a line here like this which should not be construction it is going to be a standard element ok and this is going to be the upper part here ok this part here which is h by 8 and again what is h h is 0.866 into p ok so I will select the constraints and the dimension here between these two is going to be 0.866 into 1.25 divided by 8 ok I used standard formula here ok h by 8 I am going to repeat the same process here for h by 4 also let's select the line tool and uh, draw a vertical line here like this now the dimension between these lines is going to be 
0.866 into 1.25 which is our pitch divided by 4 okay so this is uh, this is going to be nearly double of this okay. actually double of this because this is divided by 8 and this is divided by 4 okay now we have to uh, take out our profile from this okay I will convert this also into construction now select now go to insert operation and uh, we have a quick trim option here or you can select this from here also but be sure to double click it okay now let's remove these parts here okay now uh, wait let's undo it okay let's uh, keep it like this okay i will exit the sketch because i want to keep the references here let's create another sketch from this yz plane in this case I'm going to project all the 3D elements here. And then use the quick trim tool. To only keep our profile here. The inside profile, okay. Let's open the tree for the part and let's hide this sketch too. Okay, tools, sketch analysis, and it is closed. Okay, let's exit the sketch here. Okay, now select sketch tool and uh, again this plane. Okay, now we have to uh, remove some material from here. Okay, for that, I will select rectangle tool and from origin till here and select this end point this end point and create a coincidence relation ok now exit the sketch select the group tool about uh, this axis click ok so we have removed the material also now we have to create a helix the for the spiral helix cannot be created in this workbench so we need to change the workbench here so click on start mechanical design and here is the wireframe and surface design select it now go to insert wireframe and uh, there is a helix tool ok uh, now we have to select uh, particular things here so that uh, let's create a sketch here ok click on sketch tool select this face and uh, create a circle here of 8mm diameter Okay, uh, the radius should be 4 mm. Okay, now select the point tool and create a point here. Okay, let's exit the sketch. Okay, uh, the point should be on the other side. Let's edit it. I will delete the point here and uh, the point should be near the profile ok the profile for this thread, thread here ok actually it doesn't matter much because uh, one way or the other we can do it but uh, uh, if we do it like this we can easily make the screw and nut using these 
profiles okay that's why i am doing it like this now go to insert let's change the work page first for design now select the sorry we first have to create the helix i forgot that insert wireframe helix now select this as the starting point uh, for the axis z is our axis right click here z axis okay which is 1.25 Okay, counterclockwise. Okay. Now click OK. Let's change the workbench here. Part design. And now select the rib tool. This is our profile, and uh, this is our center curve. Hair pulling direction. About Z axis, click OK. Okay, so these are our threads. Let's hide the sketch. We have to uh, remove this extra material here also. To remove that, select sketch and this face, uh, select the project 3D element and select this face. Remove this uh, here, and we don't need it. Okay. Now select the pocket tool, reverse the direction, click OK. Let's repeat the same process here. Or you can just uh, draw a circle here. With the atom in diameter, okay, because the profile is inside it, so atom is enough here, okay. Now we have to create a chamfer here, okay. So select the sketch tool and uh, wait a second, let's create change it to asymmetric view. Okay, and uh, select XZ plane. Okay, because uh, uh, I want these flat faces to be opposite faces to be perpendicular to our sketch plane. Okay, now select. Uh, we have to create a profile here. I will just draw. Profile like this here. Okay. Now select the constraint and the angle here should be 30 degree. And select this point and this point. Create a coincidence relation. And for this, uh, let's give it three hour. And uh, let's exit the sketch. Let's repeat the same process for the lower part also. Okay, so we don't need to create extra sketches. I can also use the profile tool here. Okay, uh, this is uh, much easier. Because you don't need to uh, select endpoints again and again. Select this endpoint and again coincident relation. Let's make these lines coincident also. And uh, the angle here should be also 30 degree. Okay. 
exit the sketch select the group tool about z axis click ok ok now uh, I want to deeper here also because you can see these edges are very sharp so I can do this in this sketch also. Okay. Let's select the profile tool and let's draw a profile like this here. Okay. Okay. Uh, parallel relation is not bad here. If you ask me. The distance here should be from this point to this should be 4 and uh, let's make it 12 this should be vertical ok actually because this is there is a parallel relation that's why this is making it uh, over defined ok let's create the same profile for the fourth part also we can just create a parallel relation here Okay. Wait, wait, wait. It should not be two. It should be from here to here. So round. Okay. Let's edit the sketch. You can see that we have deburred it also. So this concludes our video tutorial on modeling a hex nut with ISO threads M8 in Cadia. If you like this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. And if you are facing any problem with this design, you can uh, comment on this video and I will try to solve it. And uh, you can download this video from our blog which is mentioned in description okay thank you for watching this video tutorial and have a nice day